Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film this soft tonal 90s inspired look. I hope you like it. First up, I'm going to be starting by priming my skin using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, the smoothing primer. And this is just going to provide a nice base for the foundation to sit on top of. And for my base, I'm going to be using the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint in the shade St. Moritz. And this is one of my favourite foundations to use at the moment. It's a great one for every day because it provides a light to medium coverage and the finish is a demi matte, which is my preferred type of finish. And here I'm using a buffer brush. This one's from Morphe, the M439, I believe. And I'm just kind of buffing that into my skin using circular motions. And for my brows, I'm going to be using a new product. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil. And I start off by combing through my brows just so I can see the shape better before I go in with the waxy pencil side and start to fill in and shape my brows. Then once I'm happy with my brows, I take the spoolie end again and comb through them just to soften out the product which will make the brows look a lot more natural. to set them in place you've definitely seen this product before it's the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and because this is a tinted brow gel it does give the brows a little bit of texture and to prime my lids I'm going to be using a concealer and this one's the By Terry Touche Velute and I just kind of swipe that onto my lids and then use my ring finger just to blend it in and then to set that in place I'm going to use a little bit of the RMCA no colour powder and just lightly dust that over the lids. Then the first eyeshadow I'm going to go in with is this Colourpop one and it's in the shade Wattles and it's like a pinky beige with a satin finish and I'm applying this all over the mobile part of the lid going only as far as the crease. Then I'm going to go in with a transitional shade and this one's the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm going to apply that directly into the crease and this will kind of help to blend out the edges of that Wattles shade but also provide a nice kind of base for when we apply darker shades on top and it will just help the eyeshadows blend a lot more easily. Then moving on to a slightly darker shade, this is Makeup Geek Frappe and taking a more tapered brush I am applying that to the outer corners of the eye and taking any kind of excess product along the crease. Then I take the brush that I use to apply creme brulee and start to blend out that frappe shade so that the two colours just kind of mesh together seamlessly. Then I'm going to go in with an even darker shade and this is Makeup Geek's Mocha and I'm taking an even more smaller and tapered brush and running that colour right along the lash line and this is going to provide a nice kind of hazy smoky effect from the lash line upwards and then I'm basically extending that out onto the outer corner so basically where I applied Frappe and then I'm taking the same brush that I used to apply Frappe and blending a mocha in. So the mocha is going to blend into the Frappe which is going to blend into the creme brulee shade. So the end result will be a kind of gradient and soft and smoky look. Then I'm going to give my lashes a curl using my Shiomura eyelash curlers. Then to add a little bit more sultriness to this look, I am using Kat Von D's Tattoo Liner in True Part and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a winged liner and I generally like to keep my liner more thick where the wing is and the outer half of the eye. Then 
taking a matte black eyeshadow, this is Makeup Geeks Corrupt, and using a dense flat brush, I'm going to start to smoke out that liner by buffing that matte black eyeshadow back and forth on top of that liner. Then for mascara, I'm going to be using L'Oreal's Telescopic Waterproof Mascara. Then to create the illusion of a thicker lash line, I'm going to be going in with Colourpop's Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Swerve, which is basically a black. And I'm going to use that to tight line my top waterline. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some false lashes. And these are just some mink pair that I got from eBay. And I'm using the House of Lashes Adhesive in black. Then moving on to concealing, I'm going to be using the same concealer I used before to prime my eyes and this is the By Terry Touche Velute in the shade 3 and I'm taking that directly under the eyes where I tend to have a little bit of darkness um, but also kind of around any areas where I have a little bit of redness or blemishes which is typically kind of around my nose area, either side of my mouth. Um, I'm going to add a little bit to the chin then using one of my favourite brushes, this is the Morphe G2, I'm going to start to blend all that concealer work out. Then to add a little bit of brightness to the face, I'm going to highlight using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Light Boost. And I generally like to take that kind of below the eye area, but then also down the centre of the face, from the forehead down the length of my nose and my chin. Then I'm using the same brush to blend that all out. Taking the RMCA No Colour Powder, I am going to set all of that concealer and highlighter work in place to help it stay in place all day and to help minimise any creasing. Then I'm also going to take some of that powder on a big fluffy brush and lightly dust it over my cheeks. And by doing this, it's going to provide a nice smooth base for powder products to go on top. Then moving back to the eyes, I'm going to mix the shades Frappe and Creme Brulee together and run that right the way along the bottom lash line from outer corner to inner corner. And then taking a slightly more smaller, more tapered brush, I'm going to take the shade Mocha and pretty much do the same but not quite take it as far in as the first two shades. Then taking Makeup Geeks Corrupt on a flat dense brush, I'm applying that just on the outer corners of the eyes just to add a little bit more kind of smokiness and drama. Then I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and for this I'm using MAC's Extended Play Giga Black Lash and I absolutely love the brush on this mascara, it's so thin and tiny it makes it perfect to get to every little lash on your bottom lash line. Then moving on to contouring, I'm using Makeup Geek's Contour Powder in the shade Infidelity. I'm going to take that right in the hollows of my cheekbones to kind of carve out some much needed structure to my face. And once I've got most of the product down, I like to blend the brush upwards to create a bit of a gradient effect. I think this makes it look a bit more of a natural shadow. And I also like to take any excess product along my jawline as well, just to kind of give it a little bit more definition. Oh, and not to forget the nose as well. I like to run a little bit of the excess product down either side, just to slim it down a little. And to warm up the skin and give myself a bit more of a golden goddess complexion, I'm going to take some of Charlotte Tilbury's Film Star Bronze and Glow. I'm taking the bronze powder and applying it right over the contour powder and just generally applying it to the whole perimeter of my face. 
Now you can't be a bronze goddess without that glow, so I'm going to take the glow powder and apply that right on the tops of my cheekbones. And I'm being quite generous with this powder, really packing it on and taking it kind of up above the arch of my brow as well. And I really want to make sure that it's blended in really well, so I'm using a mix of swiping motions and kind of circular motions. And as a finishing touch to the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of that glow powder and put it directly on the inner corners of the eyes. Then moving on to the lips, I'm going to be using Milani's Easy Liner in the shade Most Natural and basically line my lips so that when it comes to applying the main lip product, um, I have a nice outline to follow. Then moving on to the main lip attraction, I'm going to be using Colourpop's Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Frickin' Frack, which is a beautiful rosy terracotta brown. Then to finish off, I'm going to be using Models Prefer Finale Makeup Setting Mist and this is just going to set my makeup and help it to last all day. And this is pretty much the completed look, my homage to the 90s look with a 2016 twist. Being a neutral look with loads of rosy brown tones, it's definitely a look that can be worn day or night. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, that would help me out a lot. And if you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to do so. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye!